Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are probably wondering why the Ministry of Public Administration and how are we related with the laws that refer to the registration of partnership, transgender persons and similar issues. And I will answer that question later on. In July 2014, Croatian Parliament adopted a law on a registered partnership. We made it completely equal with the institution of marriage except the name and the right to adoption of children of sex and in sex and marriages. Life partnership or registered partnership, the first one, was made in Zagreb in 2014 on the 5th of September. I wanted to be there in my own name and on behalf of the government and I gave them a gift of two ties. And then one of them was a citizen of the Republic of Croatia and the other was a citizen of the Republic of Serbia and given the historical relations between these two countries this made this registered partnership even more interesting for our public. Unfortunately, none of the weddings after the law was adopted or was not public, it has not yet been public. About 50 registered partnerships were made and just one person went into public and openly spoke about how he made the registered partnership with his partner and he talked about the circumstances. That's precisely the person who made the first registered partnership and uh, the one from Serbia actually spoke in public about that. The citizens of Croatia, citizen of Croatia who was the partner in that partnership did not yet manage to speak about it. But the process of adopting this law was rather dynamic. We had two parallel processes in 2013. In parallel with the preparation of the law on registered partnership, we had a referendum initiative requesting that the constitution of the Republic of Croatia defines the marriage as a union of men and women. It's interesting that three days after the referendum, the government submitted the bill to the parliament and the referendum took place only after the constitutional court said that the referendum can take place, but that it would not influence the legislation about the registered marriages of the same sex couples. So those who wanted to destroy this idea did not manage. They did not manage to prevent the law on adoption of registered, uh, the law on registered partnership to be adopted. The working group working on this draft uh, comprised of uh, NGO groups, government representatives, and the discussion that was the strongest was whether we need a separate law at all, because some of the representatives of NGOs insisted that this should be inserted into the family law and that we don't have to adopt a new law for that. On the other side, given the initiative about the referendum and the definition in the constitution that the marriage should be the union between a man and a woman, we did not have the possibility to put it into one law as other issues but we adopted the Lex Specialis, making all the rights of people in registered partnership equal with the rights of people in marriage. Ministry of Administration of Public Administration was a coordination body for drafting this legislation. In addition to this, in 2012, we amended the law on state registries and we recognize the gender identity there in the first decision about the reassignment of gender of a person who did not do the gender reassignment surgery was adopted in 2014 in March. We still do have some disputes about this with the health sector. We will try to solve that this year so I hope we will achieve progress next year in this field. As for the rights, 
We have been having this since 2010 in Zagreb and we started with a large number of police officers and now we do that with a small number of police officers protecting the pride. And the pride also took place in other towns. In Split in 2011 we had the first one which was really poorly protected by the police and there were incidents. However, after that, in 2012, 2013 and 2014, there were no problems of that kind. In Osijek, it took place in 2014 and it went without any incident. So it means that in this brief period of time, the rights of LGBT persons have been, have become visible, I would say, and the public accepted them. And the awareness is strong that these things should be improved. And I believe that we will not have any kind of reverse process there. And it was my great pleasure to participate in all of that and to learn and to be happy that Croatia, with its legislation, has become the most progressive country in the region. But then something happened and uh, we became, we took the second place in the region. Slovenia adopted a law that is a bit more liberating than the Croatian one, so now we are the second, unfortunately. So that is what happened in Croatia in the last two years. We are aware that we cannot progress much more in the future because we are on a very high fourth or fifth place according to the rainbow map presented yesterday, but for our law, the German law was a model and we hope that our law on registered partnership will be an inspiration to other countries that want to improve the rights of LGBT persons. Thank you.